TGC Requiem, we are back with some Legacy Elves. I won the die roll here. Uh, this is just not a really good, not a very good hand. Um, so three of our lands don't produce any mana on their own. Um, if this was another non... If this is like an elf, rather, like a one mana elf, I might consider it because then we could go... Yeah, no, still wouldn't be very good. I suppose you could go Dryad Arbor into Cradle. One, play two, Cradle for two. Mm, no, not good enough. Uh, this is a little better. We could potentially chain some stuff with a land. Do we have access to three? <laughs> I think we'll keep this. I was gonna. I was just literally gonna say Gaia's Cradle on top would be the best possible thing we could have. Um, so we'll keep that on top there, and then we can play out the Quarian Ranger, protecting our Bayou. I feel like I've played Lawyer in Modern. I feel like, uh, or is it Layer? Layer, maybe it's not Lawyer. So I feel like that was like a Burn or Goblins player. For some reason, this this individual is invoking red in my mind. As much time as they're spending makes me wonder if it's not like uh, some sort of storm. Well, that's a possibility. Preordain, scry two dry card. Tropical Island. Storm plays Tropical Islands very occasionally. Maybe more likely like Reanimator. Preordain is usually more of a combo deck card. I suppose maybe this is just Infect. I could see Preordain and Infect, possibly. Yeah, see, this just makes me feel like this is more like a Storm or Reanimator deck. Yeah, this is definitely, definitely uh, Storm. Do you got it? So only getting three mana off the Cabal here. But he's going to get nine. Vernal Tutor. Crack a Lion's Eye Diamond. Crack the other Lion's Eye Diamond, maybe. So it looks like maybe Past in Flames, because he needs one more spell before he can Tendrils. So probably Past in Flames into Cabal Ritual, Infernal Tutor for Lion's Eye, uh, not Lion's Eye, for Tendrils. So I'm thinking we're going to get Past in Flames here. 
Past in Flames is going to re replay the Cabal Ritual into Infernal Tutor. Infer Infernal Tutor going to find um, Tendrils of Agony, and then that will drain us out for 22. Well, not a whole lot you can do <laughs> against the turn one storm deck, but usually the post war games are a little bit more grindy. Um, and how did he get? Oh, he's just re he's just recasting spells. He doesn't need to. There it is. There it is. And so he's going to gain, well, it looks like 14, 13, so 26 life, and we'll lose 26 life. Just letting it play out for those of you who haven't seen it. I know I've lost. There we go. All right, so post board. I think we want all of these. Pile Needle doesn't really do anything. Um, Lion's Eye Diamond would be phenomenal if you could name it, but it's a mana ability, so it doesn't do anything. The rest of the cards aren't that good. Um, we don't really need multiple Crater Hoofs in this scenario. Um, Elvish Visionary, a little slow, and usually Visionary's best with Symbiotes, so we pull some Symbiotes as well. And I think that pretty much gets us where we need to be since we're running the main deck scavenging ooze. Um, it'd be really nice if we had mind break traps in right now. Reclamation Sage still can do some work. Just thinking this through. Um, Yeah, I just don't think there's anything else. Piley Needle doesn't really name anything except for maybe a fetch land. I actually had this happen at FNM. I, I first time I played against Storm at FNM. It was probably pretty early in my uh, elves playing days, but I ended up playing Piley Needle and naming uh, Lion's Eye Diamond and my opponent, who had been playing a lot more Legacy than me, ex basically explained it doesn't work how you think it works because the activated abilities. Um, you can't name activated abilities, or I guess you can name card. You can name anything, but basically, if the activated ability is a mana ability, it doesn't actually stop it from happening. And thus, we were where we were. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot more. The only thing I'm trying to think of is if there's anything else we might want to cut to get the second Crater Hoof back in, just to maximize the natural order, but I don't really think there is. I also don't know that we want all these glimpses. I almost feel like uh, we really want to try and combo chain off glimpse, so I almost feel like maybe we just want to cut one of them. We'll see. We'll see if we can make it to game three. So again, we lost 0-1, game one, lost <laughs> on turn one. Uh, we'll be on the play. Yes, please. So again, I would know our opponent should be playing to slow us down or, or to kind of fight through the hate a little bit. I actually think I'm okay with this. We can ramp into Dryad Arbor, um, which will allow us to cast all these guys the next turn and Reclamation Sage. Man, what I wouldn't give for Leovold right now. Query and Ranger would allow us to, yeah. So we're gonna Go get a Bayou. We're not really afraid of any land destruction in this matchup. And we're gonna 
it'll get us some Dryad Arbor action. We're basically seeding him going off game one. We could try and mulligan to one of our five pieces of hand disruption. It's, I just, it's just not worth it. So next turn we can play Quirion Ranger Heritage Druid. Use the Quirion Ranger to untap the Dryad Arbor, bouncing the Bayou, replay the Bayou, cast the other Quirion Ranger, attack with Heritage Druid, and then either Green Sun Zenith for two or Reclamation Sage, ideally a Lion's Eye Diamond if he plays one out this turn. We'll see if it works that way, and that would still allow us to attack with the Dryad Arbor. I think we probably would prefer, I mean, we'll see what our opponent does, but we probably would prefer to Green Sun's Zenith for a Visionary and try and draw into, like, a natural order. So again, he's going to be more sculpting his hand this game. Okay, so this is actually phenomenal with Heritage Druid. So we can lead with Glimpse. Yep. So we may be able to just win turn two here if we get a lucky combo chain, which I would not be confident about, uh, but we're certainly going to try. So we're going to lead off with Glimpse. Ooh, Cabal's good here. Hmm. Part of me really wants to Cabal Therapy here. Cabal ther- oh no, we just gotta go for our creatures. Could we actually kill here? I don't think we can. We could untap the Dryad Arbor, play the Bayou again next turn. We can definitely tap for three more mana cast a natural order sacking a creature which would give us six which would be 11 17 I'm going to go get a Birchler Ranger here. And then we're going to tap for black. We're going to go find Lion's Eye Diamond.
And then we can name Cabal Therapy, chain of vapor, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Uh, so we should be able to cast Natural Order and win then next turn. Yeah, so we're going to name Cabal Therapy as our other card. Uh, not Cabal Therapy, right? Yeah, Cabal Therapy. Sorry about this. Cabal Therapy. Even if he bounces the Heritage Druid, we should be okay to get there next turn. We know our opponent has Strand, Tutor, Chain, and Fetch. He just played the Strand. Alright, so we got the turn three win there. Getting us evened up at one and one. That was on the draw, no, that was on the play again, so we're going to need to be a little more likely to mulligan to hand disruption probably this turn. Don't know that we necessarily need visionary, but I do, well, I don't know, I guess I feel like we're still just kind of in the same boat, right? We're just going to kind of hope that we get lucky if we get a glimpse chain. I suppose that's all right. I guess we don't need scavenging. Oh, no, I guess we, we kind of want scavenging news because we could eat the graveyard, which makes their um, Cabal Rituals weaker. Yeah, it's just I don't think we make any changes. Uh, so this is actually pretty excellent. Uh, we can lead off a turn one thought seize, surgical extract if it's a really good card. Otherwise, got a lot of mana. Yeah, this, this seems this seems like what we want. Opponent's mulligan down to six also in our favor. So I foresee a Cabal Therapy in my future. <laughs> Probably leading on the probe into therapy. Looking to get an idea of what's going on. Could Surgical Extract at the Gataxian Probe. We'll probably do that if he ends up Cabal Therapying here. But if we can Thought Seize, I'd rather Thought Seize first.
So the second turn, we're going to definitely want to go Death Rite Shaman, then Cradle, Query and Range. Uh, Nettle Sentinel, actually. Query and Ranger's ability can get activated right away. Nettle Sentinel helps us to, to start to put the beats down. Um, and we're not going to be able to get two. Well, I guess we could get two Death Rite Eats because we could eat his land and eat a card out of his graveyard. So maybe that is worth worth the effort. So our opponent's brainstorming here. Gotta keep in mind he's probably trying to hide stuff. He knows we have the thought sees. In that regard, it may be worth playing out the shaman this turn. It's kind of like a mind game here. You know, is he going to leave me something to go at with Thoughtseize? Is he kind of screwed in a way where he can't hide what he needs to hide? He's just, he's clearly got a tough decision on what he wants to put in on top of the library versus in his hand. The fact that he's only at five cards makes me feel like at this point we may be more apt to just run out the Death Rite Shaman. All right, and this is why we potentially wanted to go for the Surgical Extraction and the Probe. So I'm actually going to just lead out with death right here. What's the worst he could do? If he lion's eye, lotus petal, lotus petal, uses that to cast pass and flames. He's got to have like. He's got to have the mana rocks too, though. I feel like on the other side, man, do you go for the death right here? The thing is, is we already have a pretty decent turn two. I think we just go for this here. He only really got to hide one card with the Cataxian probe. Past and flames. I feel like I almost prefer the dark ritual here. And then we can just Cabal, or Surgical Extraction on his um, Gataxian Probes in, in response to whatever he goes to cast. So he's going to Strand, Past. Lotus, and Cabal. Oh, even more, even more beautifully better. Uh, and we can cradle the next turn. Then we can start eating his graveyard with the Death Rite Shaman itself. So we're in okay shape right now.
he's a little choked up because his Cabal Ritual um, is only going to be able to produce three mana right now. So he'd be spending two to produce three, which is not much of a net gain. That's a pretty good draw here. Double cradle, less useful. Really no reason to not just Hmm. That didn't work out nearly as well as we'd hoped. We're going with the surgical extraction to go get the cataxium probes. We got rid of some of his fast mana. Next turn we'll be able to get a couple death right eats if we don't have to surgical extract the cataxium probe. on top of at least four points of damage, probably... Well, maybe we won't do two eats with the death right Shaman, it's possible we play the Verdant Catacombs, I guess it depends on what we draw and what we see out of our opponent. So if he goes for a past in flames, we're going to eat the Cataxian probes for sure. I'm trying to think here, even if he were to go for past in flames right now, like with another Cabal ritual, he really can't do a whole lot without the Cataxian probes. Infernal Tutor. So, nothing to hold off of yet. He's going to have to discard his hand. Oh no, sorry, that's wrong card. So he went and got a card. So I was wondering that this might be the play. Maybe he drew a couple Cabal Rituals, because he still needs... I think we go for the Cabal Ritual here, actually. Uh, I may have screwed that up. We may have needed to wait for the Cabal Ritual to resolve. Not 
not sure if we ended up locking him out here or not. We ended up leaving one on the stack that's going to go in his graveyard, which would allow him to potentially... But we did cut him off casting the other one. So all he has is a Past in Flames and another Infernal Tutor. He can't cast the Past in Flames now. I think we did kind of lock him out, yeah. So that was the right change in approach that really the only way it made sense to me is if he had another um, ramp spell in hand or, or you know mana producing card and you know it, there wasn't a whole lot we could do if it was the one mana for three but by hitting the cabal ritual in hand it locked him out and then we before he could basically get enough resources back in hand we we're going to be able to to finish him off so whew, two one not too bad after losing turn one in the first uh, first game. So that puts us 2-1 and 5-3 in the league so far. And we will be back with fourth match shortly.